Two blokes took your time, didn't you? Drive like you, Deke. Oh, very funny. All right. Listen, there was uh, one bloke in a balaclava. There was one wheel man. There's no full descriptions yet. They got away with about 100 grand. They left at speed in an RX-7. The registration number is L for Lima, Romeo Brava, 23. OK, we'll be coming around and getting a statement from everybody. So uh, it would be very appreciative if you could help us out here. We know that you've had a very traumatic morning. And we'll try and get it over and done with as quickly as possible. If anybody wants anything, like glass of water, a cup of tea or something, please ask. <laughs> But it'd be a great help if you could remember anything. Any small detail, doesn't matter how small. I'm Alan Glover, I'm the assistant manager. Hey, Alan, how are you? I'd really appreciate it if you can make this as quick as yeah, possible. Yeah, we're going to do that. Marcy over there. You put a gun to her head and made her go around empty all the drawers. Marcy, okay. I'd really appreciate it. Could, uh, Marcy's sitting down there to watch you. Yeah. She's very upset. Yes, yeah. we'll do that. Oh, sure. Oh, what happened to you? Oh, I'm OK. Bastard done. Uh, pistol with me or something, I, I can't remember. Not me out. Right. Um, do you, can you tell me exactly what happened? Look, um, come here. Oh, thanks for coming. Uh, there's a lady out there, Marcy. Marcy, isn't it? Can you just run through exactly what happened? Well, you know it? I, I was out the back to start with, so I didn't see him come in, but yeah. he marched in. He told all the customers to get down. Mm -hmm. There's a stick up. Came right down the front here. What sort Point, of gun was it? It was a Winchester 12 gauge, um, single barrels. Yeah. Sawn off about um, eight gun. inches from the bridge. Yeah, shotgun. He pointed at Marcy, then he dived over the counter. Right, and Marcy was standing just here somewhere? Yeah. Gives her the bag and says, put all the money in the bag, put all the money in the bag. Did so she goes, starts going up the counter here, going, put the money in the bag, put the money in the bag. Going up from that counter to that counter. Yep. And then I come through this door and I see him. He whips around on me and goes, get on the ground, get on the ground. <sighs> Bank makes you do these, these training things, but it doesn't help when it actually happens, yeah. you know. So, can you tell me anything about the guy? Um, did you see his face or anything no. like that? He was wearing a balaclava. What about his Black eyes? Black balaclava, he just said, I tell you, if I see him again, I'll kill him. I'll bloody I'll put a knife in him. And... Just check out the body language, OK? See that? He's in control. He's experienced, this guy, mate. He's not just some smacky. He knows exactly what he's doing. Here we go, Mr. Reliable. Yeah, look at that. Just to whip my ass, he fainted. You can't get his coffee, will you? Here's your mail, Bill. The whole time I could just feel this gun sticking into my head and it was burning and it was hurting and as I was putting all the money in the bag, all I kept thinking was, I haven't tried on my dress yet, my wedding dress. I haven't when, tried it on yet. When? Uh, when? Saturday. In a week from now, Saturday week. And I have to pay the dress off. I've got $200 to pay. And all I kept thinking as I'm putting all these notes in the bag is that I haven't done that yet. It was so weird and I felt sick. I felt like I wasn't really there. How about the clothes that he's got on? I mean, they're obviously way too big for him. He's got another set underneath it. Oh, look at that. What's he? See that? Yeah, what's that about? That, that shot is not loaded. Not loaded? Why would he do that? Isn't that one? Because he's trying to show off his MO. What do you know this bloke's on? That's the guy. No, no, he's a no. Vital flight. Have you ever heard of it? No, what is that? Okay. It's where instinctively you want to run off or you want to fight the danger. You've had a big trauma mm. and there's adrenaline and it's coursing through your system. So what okay. do I do? Well, um, you exercise? I play a little bit of tennis. A bit of tennis? Well, what you should do, what you should do is you should go and play a game of tennis. Play a game of tennis or go for a walk or run, something, you know. How's that going to well, help? Well, what it'll do is it'll, it'll give the adrenaline a way out for you. I don't, I don't see it really working, but I'll try. OK. Now, the police are going to want to talk to you about this. Th they've already spoken to me. Yeah. But I don't think I answer their questions very well. Why? It just went too fast. And the guy was too impatient and... Marcy, you've been, th you've been through a trauma and it's probably going to be a little bit hard for you for a little while, OK? What you've been through, you might think you hear things, something 
be a bit on edge like you are now, but that's all normal. Okay, it's all completely normal for what you've it's gone normal? through. Yeah, yeah, it's all part of the process. Derek Charles Lamb's nickname is Baba. Assault and robbery, assault and robbery. Got 12 years concurrent for two stick ups in 1993. Suspected involvement in several others. He escapes custody 8th of February 98. That's it. Yeah. Yep, same MO as all the others. Same gun. Always wears clothes underneath for quick change. Always strike, same time of day, just after big cash delivery. He always grabs a female teller. That's it. Cocky bastard takes a good photograph too. Yeah, well, when do you think this was taken? About a month ago. How many other jobs has he done? 20 or 30. He's had a fair bit of experience. And he'd have a nice stash tucked away somewhere, wouldn't he? Yeah, well, half a million. Not recovered when he went inside. So tell me about when you were arrested in the 93. Well, he'd been doing a lot of jobs out in the western suburbs. We got an informer to give him up on the Bass Hill one. And he also told us that uh, Lamb was staying around his father's place. So I took the TRG around there, mm. turned into a shit fight. Yeah, well, what's all this payback about? Well, I shot his father. Dead. Yep. That's my fiance. Oh, yeah, One minute she's at work, me. next minute there's a guy wandering around okay. with a bloody gun in okay, her face. All right. I just want to know if she needs to go to the hospital. Oh, Alan, she... sit down and just wait for her, okay? Look, we, you know, I just want to be with her. I just want to hold. She's this there. <clears throat> Alan, just relax. I'm okay. Alan, I'm, I'm Maxine. Hey, how are you? Good. Um, look. <laughs> I've invited Marcy to come back and have another little chat tomorrow. Good. And it'd probably be a good idea if, if you came and had a talk as well. Yeah, Something. sure. Yeah? OK. Well, great. Now, do you want me to have a look at that cut in your head? No, fine. Marcy's had a big day. Yeah, well, you know what, Alan? You have as well. Yeah, well, I, uh, I reckon we just need to get home, um, pour a bath and take it easy. No, huh? I'm going to go play a game of tennis first. In the meantime, this is a number of a psychologist. Now, he specialises in post-traumatic stress. OK, so if you want to give him a call, that would be a good idea, too. That's oh. best. Thanks, you keep warm. I will. Okay. Right. Let's go. OK. Tom? Lexi. Hi. 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 Um, I'm really sorry to keep you waiting like this. It's... Oh, I understand. Yeah, it's, it's hectic. Max, <laughs> Max, Max uh, can I just have a word with you for a yeah. sec? Sorry. No worries. Okay. I'll be very quick. Max, what the... What's that? pre arranged interview? Yeah. Yeah, his name's Tom Wallace. He's a freelance journo. But he rang me last week about talking to me about the centre and, you know, I said yes. I, what's the problem? I would like to have known. Okay, sorry. Um, I probably should have said something, but, you know, I haven't... I haven't had a lot of sleep in the last oh, couple of days. Okay. What's he writing about? Well, he's, he's writing about... Well, he's writing about us, you know, non... Non-governmental welfare agencies, you know, holes in the, the welfare safety net type thing. It's exactly what we want, Vince. I just don't know if there'd be a problem. No, no, no. no look, Max, just say, you know, we put in for funding submissions, right? Yes, I know. So anything that goes outside into the public domain concerning this place is as relevant to me as it is to you. Yeah? Yeah. So how'd the old man end up dying anyway? Well, Baba. Started shooting at us. It was getting dark. I went around the back. Was he armed or what? No, mate. He was blind and he came out in a wheelchair. What do you reckon? Fair enough. <clears throat> Which one of you had a driver's license? What do you want? This car's this. I made him one. All right, give me the keys. Where are you going? Just going for a job interview. Give me the keys. I'll drive up, man. It's up the road. It's up the road? I'll take you up. Give me the keys. Come on. You haven't even got a seatbelt on. Come on. Let's go. So what's the job, mate? In the kitchen here. 
Like the Paradise Club, you better than that, cunt. It's a good place, that, mate. Make a mean margarita. Yeah, well, I can't get out of this car right now. I'm stuffed, all right? Can you pull up? So, you still stay in the same place? No, I'm living around. Moved out of that joint. You moved out? Where are you going to? Just here and there, man. Friends joint. All right. Well, why don't you come over tonight about 7 o'clock and I'll cook your meal? Can you cook? Maybe make the keys back, too. Yeah, what's up? You right? 7 o'clock? No. See you then. Good luck. Good job. Yeah, good luck. Margaritas, eh? Yeah. Pretty good. Real lime juice. Lime juice, like uh, lemon juice. Sydney, BKG, stolen vehicle reported. Abandoned in Shepherd Street, Chippendale. Registration LRB 2. Let's go. No, sorry. It's not you. I've just, um, I've had a really big 24 hours. <clears throat> no worries. Are you on call round the clock? Uh, sometimes I am. It, it depends on our clients, you know. Our, for our clients, night times are the most hazardous, so... What actually happened yeah. last night? Sorry, do you mind if I pick up my sandwich? Oh, no, go ahead. Talk? No, sure. I don't want to be rude or anything, but... Um, no, 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 go ahead. Just might keep eating a bit. Yeah. So, what went on last night? Well, I had um, an HIV AIDS seminar, then I had a committee meeting, and then at 1.30 I was called out to a client who'd OD'd on cat worming tablets. Oh, desperate. Yeah. Well, old, lonely, four bucks and dice, really. Well, what's the attraction for you? I mean, you've run your own practice. Working here? Yeah. Um, yeah, well, um, a GP life is a lot safer. Money's better. But when people get better, I don't see them again, you know, whereas here, I get to follow through the winds. That happens often. Well, it happens often enough to keep me here. <laughs> that, um, that way. young woman you saw earlier from the bank robbery, was she... Sorry, I'd really prefer it if you didn't refer to specific cases. Oh, yeah, sure. Is that all right? Oh, just course. confidentiality. Absolutely. You know? no, I mean, I just overheard and um, I just wondered, you know, how she got to you. Did she just walk in off the street oh, or...? Oh, no, no, no. She was referred to me by the police. Oh, so what, you, you work closely with the police? Sometimes we do, yeah. Uh, you know, we have clients in common, sort of thing, and it, and it can be mutually beneficial. And sometimes common conflict? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it happens. It happens a, a lot? <laughs> Not so much. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes conflict. Sorry, can you excuse me? Oh, sure. I've just got to oh, check my... Oh. So I've just got to check. Oh. No, it's okay. No, 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 no. no. no I won't come. Please. No, no come on. Um. It's your office. <laughs> Standard lunchtime stuff, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I'm afraid so. Okay. Do you want to go for a coffee? Yes. Yeah? Yes, I do. Great. We could just get out for a little while. Sure. Okay. <laughs> What do you got? We've got plenty of the owner's prints by the look of it. Uh -huh. Did you check under the passenger seat? That's where our man usually leaves a gun. Nothing around there? No. In the bash sorry. there? No. Listen, mate, you want to get going? I'll look after this. You've got a din date with Nick tonight, yeah, it's haven't you? It's all right, it's all right. Hey, you're going to cook for him and stuff, aren't you? Yeah, it's not going to take that long. What about under there, down there? Uh, we might have got something here. It's in a clear way. You what? We might have something here. What do you got? Got a parcel print on the cigarette lighter. The owner's, do you think? No. The ashtray's clean. Uh, how long before you get a match on it? Um, maybe by the morning, depending on the queue. What about if I whip it out there, Sabo? Will that be quicker? Well, Bill? Yeah, well, hey? possibly, yeah. I'll look after right, it, mate. I Just can go. take it. Keep going. Huh? Keep going. Go on. Do what you've got to do. Right, well, can you take it out there? Yeah, I'll look after it. Okay. Let's go. There's this guy. He goes to a doctor, and the doctor tells him he's got three minutes to live. And he says to the doctor, well, you know, what can you do for me? And the doctor says, in three minutes, I can boil your neck. You see, that's how I feel sometimes about my clients, you know, that their problems are so big that the best that I can do is just boil them an egg. It's, no? a, uh, it's a good game. No, uh, would you not. like me to put it in? <laughs> Look, if you think it'll help, yeah. Oh, it might help the article. I don't know whether it'll help get it published, though. Oh, right, you're doing this on spec. 
Yeah. Gotcha. Why? Look, you've perked up. Have I? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, 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 your eyes are shinier. Must be the coffee, huh? Shinier. Jesus, shinier. what kind of a journo are you when you're using words like shinier? Probably a very ordinary one. Yeah, yeah. very ordinary yeah. one? Yeah. Well, what's a very ordinary journo doing writing articles that may or may not get published? Trying to score credibility points, you know? Oh, look, I I just want to write about stuff that matters. As opposed to what? What oh, were you doing before? Pieces for Global Village Travel Pocketbook. You know, the sort of travel books you buy when you want good advice to go overseas, and then when you get there, you find out that uh, it's already one whole year out of date. Oh, right. <laughs> You know? right. No, I don't, I don't know about that. Well, this. you don't use that stuff, or? Well, no, I haven't been overseas, so... Seriously? Yeah. You should get out more. Ah, oh, g'day, mate. Come in. G'day, Bob. How are you? Good. Yeah. Sorry, the place is a bit of a mess. No, it's looking all right. Want a drink? Yeah. Beer? Yeah, that'd be good. Hey. There you go. Done. Want a glass with that? No, nah, it's fine. What are you making? Pasta. You like pasta? Yeah, it's all I eat, though. Sorry, it's all I got. No, it's cool. Listen, I went out to pick up your mate's car from the clearway, but uh, somehow it disappeared. Might have got towed away. Well, or someone stolen. Yeah, maybe. Did you call the RTA? No, no, it's too late. But I'll call them first thing in the morning. They've probably got it out there. They've got it. I've got it. You've got it? Yeah. I'm not going to leave it in the clearway. What, do you got a spare key, have you? A hot wine. You really want pasta? No, it's not. It's not hot. Oh, come on. Because it's hot. Huh? How hot do you want it? Oh. Could have had pasta at home, mate. Your pasta or cold pies? You're giving me great choices here. Well, it's still a choice, isn't it? Come on, eat up. Be good. So, you went for the job interview. Did you get it? If I want it. What do you mean, if you want it? I mean, you're not going to go hole. for it if you don't want it, eh? The kitchen is a shit off. The whole place is a shit off. I know, I told you that, didn't I? We were walking in Encyclopedia, aren't you? I know, I am. You moved out of the other place, did you? Where are you living now? Mate's house. What's your mate's name? No one you know. Well, you don't know that, do you? Just tell me. Don't worry, mate. All that's no? good, good is I'm out of that place, away from smack. Yeah. That's good. Mm. That's why I wanted you out of that place, too. I know that. So where have you gone to? Don't worry about it. So how am I going to take Table's free up. I put a staff again for you. You want to play? Oh, I'd love the game. Well, let's play. That's my ball. Just huh? suck my ball. Bullshit, you're on middles. I'm on bigs, man. You're on little ones. What are you talking about? I'm on bigs. Bullshit. A ten, first ball off the break. All right, you're on bigs. All right, you're doing all the work yourself now. You ought to employ somebody else. Oh, shit work myself, right? Yeah. I did that. Put a bloke on yesterday, and today he doesn't even show up. So you're looking for somebody else? Yeah. Well, this is a coincidence, isn't it? This could be your lucky night. Yes, sir. That's my boy, Nick, there. I'm just, look, I'm just saying, I think it's a little rough that that he's asking her questions about the gun that's stuck in her face yes. five minutes after the robbery, so you know? Can we have this talk some other time? Oh, um... I have. I've, I mean, I've tried to have the conversation. I, you know, I've left messages for you. Well, well I, did, I didn't get the message at the station. Well, I don't know what you want me to do about that, you know. Look, it's just it's just common sense. You know, the, the woman's a mess. Can someone please talk to Deacon? I'll have a talk to Deacon tomorrow and I'll sort it all out for you. See that a bit? Yeah, okay. Whoa, hang on. Yeah, okay, look, I'm going to have to go. Okay. Where are you going? Going home. How are you going to go home? Driving. You're not driving. Now sit down there on the bed. I don't think working for one of your friends is a good hey, idea. Hey, he's not a friend of mine. He's just somebody I know and he's offered you a he's job. He's doing so you a favour, is he? He's not doing me a favour. But you give it a go, you know? I mean, it's a much better place than the Paradise Club, isn't it? Huh? Why? Why? Because it's a better class of shithole, isn't it? Much better uh, for class. For guys like us, you mean? Yeah, for guys like us. So you go down there, he needs somebody, you go down there and you give it a go. But he doesn't need somebody who's going to turn up there tomorrow morning, reeking of grog and looking like they've just jumped out of some clothing bin or anything. So, exactly, so why don't you stay here the night, sleep it off, get up in the morning, have a shower, have a shave, have a... Sh 
Actually, you don't look like you shave yet, do you? You've got a bit of bum fluff there, have you? What's that there? Huh? So why don't you sleep it off tonight and you do that? And you turn up tomorrow morning. Just turn up. Spruce yourself up. Okay. We had a good time tonight, didn't we? We did. We had a very good time tonight. Huh? Come on, you're not going to sleep there now. Go and have a shower. Go and have a shower now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, you're not sleeping in your clothes. Come on, get in there and have a shower now. You'll feel much better. So how did last night with Nick go, all right? Yeah, pretty good. Deep. Need to speak to you for a minute. Yeah, yeah. So what'd you cook? Didn't cook anything. I took him down the pub. Hey, I gave you so many recipes and you didn't even use them. No, because I couldn't understand them. Anyway, listen. We got matches for the partial print on the RX-7. Guy named Gary Linklater. OK, he's got prize for assault occasioning, PCA and B&E as well. Good. Day gets better and better, doesn't it? Uh, it looks like last Saturday. You wanted to see me? Leave it to them. Hmm? You wanted to see me? Yeah, don't worry about it. Now, did you call that psychologist? The yeah, I'm I seeing him you? tomorrow. Right, good, good. Decent? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. it doesn't feel good. Well, no, it's good. Now, um, you were talking about Alan. He went to work today. Right. And he didn't even, didn't even say goodbye. Okay. He's well, not even taking one day off for me. Well, he's dealing with his trauma in his way. Yeah, but he didn't have the gun pointed to his head. Well, you know, I should imagine for him to see you in that position and that he couldn't do anything oh, about what, it. Oh, see me in that position? He fainted. He fell flat on his back. We're getting married in one week and he's not even there for me. Are you married? No, I'm separated. How long did it last? 14 years. Wow. Mm. Must have been young. <laughs> That's about your age. So, did you ever think that maybe you made the wrong decision? Mm. No, no, no. We're supposed to be talking about you, not me. Fine. Did you? Mm. I had a... We had a daughter that, um... I wouldn't give up for anything. But did you ever meet somebody? Were there any guys in your life? Or anyone that you've met now that's made you think that maybe you would have launched into it differently? Hey, how's your article going? Oh, good. I've uh, knocked up the first draft. Oh, yeah. Already? Oh, it's slow. I've been working on it, what, a week now? Yeah, hey. I'd like to have a look. Within reason. Yeah, I mean, what could I do? Well, did you, you know? show him that? No. No, no, I wanted to show you first. All oh, right. Do you think he Great. was pissed off, maybe because I, I didn't interview him? Yeah, well, yeah, possibly. Uh, well, I mean, I've got this legal aid lawyer stuff coming out of my uh, ears. So. right. No doctors. Well, not many doctors do what you do. Well, yeah, that's true. That's true, because I'm special. Mm. Yes, you are. Um, look, I can have it presentable by this afternoon. I'll bring it round if you like. This afternoon? I thought that's why you were here now. Oh, I no. thought you were going to show me now. No, no, no. I wanted to get some shots. Um, cholera, typhoid, yellow fever. They're oh, sending right. me off to South America. When? Uh, three weeks. Um, they want some updates on Lima, Santiago. Wow. And they just call you and you just go, like, bang. Yeah, just like that. I, I nearly didn't take this job, but, uh, you know, if you've got to, you never know when an opportunity will come again. Yeah, so yeah. I'm taking it and I'm going. Yeah. I'm well, you've got to... Gotta... It's too good a chance to miss. That's right. You've yeah. got to take chances. Have you got some shots? Yeah. Sorry. Um, right. Yeah, I've, uh, I've got the... I've got cholera, but I'm going to have to order in the typhoid and the yellow fever. Would you like to um, <clears throat> go for a drink later with me? I can't socialise with my patients. OK. I'll get the shots somewhere else. So when... And where? What time? Tonight, Portofino, 7.30. Oh, be there. <laughs> be there. I can't get myself ready. See ya. All right, Sam, turn it over. Sam? You Gary Linklater? No. Who wants to know? know where he is? Huh? You're Gary Linklater, are you? Oh, 
Are you Gary Linklater? Yeah. Yeah. We've got a warrant here to search your place. Can we go and have a look, please? I'm Detective McCoy, this is Detective Kustos and Deacon. Can we step in and have a look, please? Do you agree that this is the jewellery we found in your house? Yeah. So where'd you get it from? Found it. Found it. So how do you explain the fingerprints all through the inside of the getaway car? Sergeant, I just don't know. No, we don't know either. We thought you might be able to help us. It's a pretty shitty haul, mate. A couple of watches, some shitty wedding rings and a fake bloody pearl necklace. Yeah, you risk your life and look what you got for it. So what else will Lamb give you? 10, 20,000 bucks? Oh, I would have asked for 50 at least, mate. 50? That's half. You asked for half, wouldn't you? Bloody earth, I would. Half? He drove the getaway vehicle, mate. It's armed robbery. Oh, well, you think I we're talking bloody play school here? Anyone. Serious business. No, Serious business, all right. Yeah, Least was 50 grand. You drove the car, the getaway car. That's accessory to an armed robbery. What's that? It's about 10 years in the bottom. Yeah, 50 grand it's worth. Look what you oh. got for it, mate. <laughs> Nothing. You know how much he got? How much did he get? What land? 100 big ones, mate. 100 big 100, ones. 100,000. You've been done a big time. Eh? He let you drive the getaway car with no gloves on. Gave you this bit of jewellery here. Bloody fingerprints all over the place, mate. Yeah, this stuff here, it's about a sale of the dog's turd. Well, let me flick you a couple of bucks. What? You want to go inside for the whole lot, do you? You could make, make life a bit easier for yourself. See, this jewellery here has been identified as belonging to the customers inside that bank. You're a bill, eh? Uh, yeah, I... I think so. He told me about you. Did he? Reckons he's gonna stitch you up. Is he? He's gonna stitch me up. New. Warren. Hi, Bill. Checking up on the boy? Oh, I just want to see if he fronted. How's he doing? Well, he's doing well. Offered yeah. to serve a double shift. Bullshit, dude. Yeah. No, no, fair dinkum. He's going well. Look, you can have uh, five minutes if you want to talk to him. No, no, it's all right. It's best to go to my home. Dickheads is this, you know, this thing that they're always saying about, you know, I'm right, you're wrong. And um, if you don't believe me, when I get the power as if I made life a misery. Whoa. That's it. And you have never been out of this country. Never. I'm raving, I know. Is that yeah, what it is? Is that what I'm right, doing to you? It, I'm okay. raving it's and good. it's just and, turning and, you and off. I, I think you're right. I do, but I'm, do I'm just not sure how you can be so sure. What? Because I'm arrogant. Yeah. Yeah. Really? I'm arrogant and because I read things. You know? What do you mean? You know, I read the books and I can make up my own mind and I read the papers. Oh, God, no, not the papers. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Don't you papers? believe anything <laughs> in the papers? Why not? There's people like me, you know. What a, okay, okay, what about this article? If this article gets published, should I believe that? Every or? single word. Every Gospel. single word, yeah. right. Now, why would I believe every single word? Because I'm an arrogant shit, too. What did you, what did you really think of it? I thought it was really good. Well, how come it took you so long to tell me? Oh, because I got sidetracked. Sorry. I'm... Yeah? Should, should, should I be offended by that? No, no. Look, I thought it was really good. I thought it was terrific. Yeah. It was, it was picking on me, like, 
I've never shown anyone anything before I've not painted it oh, in really? yeah. So you don't have a partner then? No, no, just a bunch of um, disaster stories which you probably wouldn't be interested in. I might be. Why would you be? Because it might make me feel like I'm not the only one. I've seen where you work, what you do, you, you, you know you're not. You know. Hey. Come with me. Come with me. Chile. <laughs> Peru. Come on, I can't. We'll, we'll, we'll have a great time. We will. Come on. How can I come? What? I can't just walk out of my patient. I can't. Well, I can't. Can you can do anything. Look, you love it. It's just two weeks. Two weeks. When was the last time you did something spontaneous? Do I do what? What are you talking about? Have sex? You no, know? I mean, oh. seduce people that you interview. I thought you seduced me. No. You did? No, hang oh. on, hang on. <laughs> Excuse me, but you asked me out. And you kissed me. And. Sister. <laughs> you kissed me. That's alright, I mean, I don't. I don't mind or anything. Oh it's been ages since I've been seduced. Yeah? Yeah, so it's nice. Yeah, yeah, nice. Mm, very nice. Nice more. Yeah. Mm. 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 Oh, hang on. Mm. Just, you, know, you want to talk to me? Mm. All right. Do you want to pass it? Yeah, yeah. 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 24 hours a day, mm. this place. <clears throat> Come on. Hello, Maxine Summers. Oh, hi, Ellen. Hi. Yeah, no, no, calm down. Calm. Okay. okay. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, do it again, and breathe out. Ah. Yeah, no, no, no. Look, it's just relaxed. What knife? What knife? Okay, calm down and tell her I'll be there. I'll be there soon. Okay. Oh, no. That mm. sounds nice. Look, um, I was going to tell you about mm. the place called, um, Conchonabori. It's a nice Conchonabori. That's funny. <laughs> Why? Because I've got to go to Bexley. Oh. Well, here's to Bexley. <laughs> Everything was fine at dinner. Yeah. Like, um, <clears throat> I mean, she didn't eat much and she didn't say much, but, you know, I mean, she's upset. I yeah, understand. that's right, yeah. And I got up to give her a hug and, I don't know, she just went off. Right, well, yeah, well, she wasn't fine this morning either when I saw her. You saw her this morning? Yeah, yeah. Look, tell me about the knife. What happened? She picked it up, went into the bathroom, locked the door and said if I didn't go away, she'd, she'd cut herself. Right, she'd done this before, this sort of thing? No, no. It took me completely by surprise. I mean, okay. look, I'm really worried that she's going what? out of her mind or something, you know? 
Okay. She's still in there, is she? Yeah. Hi, Marcy. Yeah. Hi, it's Maxine Summers. Um. Is Alan still out there? Yeah. Can you tell him to go away? Yeah. Where am I meant to go? This is my house. Oh, yeah, but Alan, you know, you called me out here in the middle of the night to talk to Marcy, and if I can do that, then, you know, the least you could do is find something to do for an hour. Hey, he's gone. Hi. Hi. Come in. It's a nice dress. Thanks. What's going on, Marcy? Hey? I told him I didn't want to go through with the wedding. No. And, um... So that's why I put on the dress. Because he just gave me that smile. You know, like, get over it. It made him so angry. Did it? Yeah. But I thought about it and I thought, I'm the one with the nightmares. And I'm the one who's, that can't hold a knife or a fork still. That's when I picked up the knife, came in here. He said you were suicidal. With a butter knife? Come on. <laughs> Look, he's gone now. I mean, he took off. We could probably go out. No, I like it in here. It's nice. Do you think I'm going mad? No. Alan does. He thinks I'm crazy. But there's one thing that I certainly do know, and that is that I'm, I'm not the same person I was three days ago. Maybe you should postpone the wedding. Postpone it instead of cancelling it. You know, in a month or two, you might feel different about this whole thing. Maybe. But you want to know something? What? What I really want is for the shrink to just tell me to get up and go. Anywhere. Go. Pack my bags. And just go? soon, I think. Yeah, you're going to get together, do the father something, you know, buy a couple of beers. I don't know. Go on. Listen, mate, do you reckon people learn from their mistakes? What, who are we talking about here? Well, I don't know, you know, just people in general. I well, know I don't. I've done it long enough for my own, okay? I know, I know, but you can talk to me about this. 
You can't talk to me about it. Forget it, man. All right. I mean, that's scum. There's scum in there. It's not the end of the world, mate. Okay, just leave it, man. Leave it. Okay, well, how long Give you me want? my space. How long just a want? short while. Short while. All right, well, I'll wait here for you. Will you come back in a minute? Yeah. Hey? Come back and we'll talk. Huh? So, mate, you want to talk about this or what? Talk about what? Well, you know, whatever, it's giving you the shits. I haven't got the shits. Well, you're not saying much. You what know? are you, a psychiatrist now, mate? What are you doing now? Let's go grab some breakfast donuts. What's up? He was, um, he was staying there, um, waiting for me at the back door. He, um, he didn't have a balaclava on this time. He was, um, he was dressed up looking like an old man. I told him that he was, um, wasting his time. There was no cash in the place. Not after the so other was, day. So was he alone, this black? Uh, as far as I could tell. He then, um, made me come through the back door and, uh, he made me lock it from the inside. He, um, I told him that I couldn't open the safe because he, um, you need two keys for the safe and I've only got one. He didn't seem to care that much about it. He didn't seem, he didn't seem too worried. Then he came through and he, um, he made me open all these teller drawers and, and then I, he made me get down on the ground and he turned his back for a minute and I grabbed a paper knife and I stabbed him. You stabbed him? Yeah, in the shoulder. He was bleeding. He was carrying a firearm and you stabbed him? Yeah. It's not such a great idea, you know? He could have shot you, he could have been dead. I didn't care. My fiance left me last night because of that bastard. He put that gun in my face. He could have blown my brains out. I wouldn't have felt much more dead than I do now. Now, all I'm asking is, if you do see him, can you let me know so I know he's okay? Yeah, yes. Um, this crim that's been taking photos of Nick, what do you think, he wants to do him some damage or what? Well, I don't know. I, I hope not. I mean, he could yeah. be just trying to make me sweat or something. Right, yeah, well, sounds like he's doing that. Listen, there hasn't been anyone to see you, has there, with a, you know, a stab wound or a puncture no. mark or something no. like that? All right. I tried to call you last night, I left a message on your show. All oh, right, yeah, yeah, I got it. Is this, is this what it was about? No, or? no, no, no. I just wanted to talk. Right, sorry. It's all right. You busy tonight? Yeah, I am. I wish okay. I could cancel, but I... No, it's all right. It's fine. Okay. All right, have a good night. All right, thanks. Stressed. Oh, I've just been running. Um, look, I, I left oh. the article here last night and I've yeah. got to get it in tonight. I, I tried to call you, but just... Yeah, look, I... I come in. Let me just stand out there. Yes. I, um, I got the message, but you didn't leave me a number. I couldn't, I couldn't call you back. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Um, don't you have another copy, like, on your computer or your hard disk or something? Oh, God, don't stop me on computers. My, um, my hard disk crashed, my uh, floppy flop, my um, printer stopped. It's not good. Blah, 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 oh, blah. God. Well... Okay. Thanks. Yeah. And drink or something? I can't, Maxine. I haven't got any time. Oh. Home. Right, so you can't stay for dinner or anything like that? Oh, I'd love to. I'm sorry. Okay. No, no, no. It's okay. That's... Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. Can, can I ask you one little favour, though? Yeah, sure. I want to put a photo in with the article of, of you. Do you mind if I take one? No. Not at all. I don't... I mean... I don't look my best or anything. It... You look great, Maxine. Okay. Well, do you want me to? Um, do you want me to strike a pose or something? Uh, do you want me to? Is here okay? Yeah, his natural 
That's right. great. Okay. You get ready? Mm. You gonna say cheese or something? Yeah, I am. Cheese.